G'day fish tankers. Today is the day we start the trial on some um, colour enhancing food. I'm just going to um, catch some female peacocks and I'm going to put them into a tank on their own. And on the label it says to feed this food twice a day. So these are 100% female peacocks. I've just stripped the fry off and there's four of them in total. So I've got them in the tank now. I'll just start feeding them twice a day and I'll give them, let's say, three pellets each. I've got another experiment going on. I'm going to use five Red Empress per tank and I'm going to try maybe ten of the more known colour enhancing foods and we're going to see what it does. So these Red Empress are um, say about five centimetres and they're just grey so be interesting to see what happens so stay tuned. So we're um, two days in. I've been feeding them twice a day like it says on the packet and to be totally honest I am shocked. Like, that is a female peacock that was holding fry about five days ago. And check that one out. So it's time to feed them again. But yeah, as you can see, there's some strange, strange things going on already. Like, this is two days in. Okay, so this is day three, feed one. I'll keep the light off for the um, first feed and I'll turn the light on for the second. So here we go. Here's the pellet. Definitely tasty for them. There we go, they're holding it. Like that white fin wasn't there at the start. And the faces are going blue. I'll turn the light on next week. It's definitely tasty for them. Okay, so this is day three, feed number two. So there we go. Let's see if they eat it. Just remember these are all female peacocks. I'm not sure why they're not eating it. Alright, there we go. That was too close. So as you can see, they're already showing male signs.
Here we go. What's this? Day four, feed one. Definitely enjoy it. I'll do the second feed with the light on. I think I'll keep with that. But yeah, they're showing good colour for female peacocks. Okay, second feeding. Day four. Let's just take a look at these fins. Are they starting to go pointy? Because we all know female peacocks have rounded. Glowfish. Check this bloke. I shouldn't say bloke, that is a female. Check her out. Okay. They weren't really keen on that, were they? I like turning rainbow colours. This is weird. Alright, stay tuned for tomorrow's feed. Day five, feed number one. We'll take a closer look when the light's on for feed number two. So I think this is day five, feed two. I think I will skip tonight's feed. Just take note on the fins. Some of them are showing more male signs than other. This dude's like a rainbow colour. So there we go, we're five days in now. Back tomorrow. Get out of fish tankers. I can't remember what day I'm up to, but I'll write it above. As you can see, there's plenty of colour coming through. Have a good look at the fins. Looks like they're starting to go pointy. How is that even possible? I guess if you're going to breed a female, this one here is the one to breed because that's the one most colourful. So yeah, stay tuned.
I think that might be a Eureka Red, that's probably why it's not showing as much colour. Same with that one. But these two are like rainbows. Is that a pointier anal fin there I see? I think we're starting to see some pointed fins happening. So we'll keep a close eye on that. They've all definitely got blue faces. So I'll probably just record the um, nightly feed from now Would you buy that? Is it possible for the fins to go pointy? They're starting to look pointy to me. Anyway, see you tomorrow. I haven't really noticed any more in-depth colour after the first four days what I do notice is the fins changing shape it looks like they're starting to go pointy like you see with the males so it'll be interesting to uh, check back and see
but he's a really nice looking fish. <laughs> With rainbow colours. Okay. Really keen to see how these fins turn out. They're definitely going pointed. Pointed. Tell me I'm wrong. Alright, see you tomorrow. It's mostly about the fins right now. Let's go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure two of them are um, Eureka Red females. This one here I think is Eureka Red Female. This one here, Eureka Red Female. I have no idea what these other two are. If you walk a shop into a shop and see that, then walk walk out because the faces look really glowy. If you take a look at the head This blue like this isn't normal. So here we go. I definitely like it. I always hold it straight away. Look at this female. She's on fire. Purple. Sorry, had to sneeze. We've got purples and greens and blue. Let's have a look at the fins. I haven't looked back on the footage, but that has a male anal fin. Check out how pointy that is. Even the top fin's starting to go pointy. Same with this girl. Still a bit rounded on the top fin. All right, we'll check back in tomorrow. Starting to get aggro, eh? Okay.
Got the two Eureka Reds. I'm gonna try the red food on these guys next. Let's see what happens. Anyway, what a change tomorrow. Let's see what happens. Things are looking pointy. This one here is real rainbowy. Okay, let's feed them. Another day, another feed. I'm just feeding them once a day now. How good she looking. Starting to get some black coming through now. It'll be interesting to look back on the video. But the rain, that one's still got rainbow colours. Oh yeah, it just depends on the light. But I can definitely see some black coming through. And it's definitely time for a water change. Let's have a look at the fins. They're going pointy. So that's a Eureka Red female. Keep an eye on that belly. Looks like there's something going on there. It's getting a bit sunken. Might have to feed them some some regular flakes. Which is definitely eating. Look 
like that. That is so funny. What fish is that even? Anyway, see you all tomorrow. Not sure what day it is. It's about 14, 15. So they've been on this food for a couple of weeks now. Not sure how long I'm going to go for. At least another couple, probably. Alright, see you next time. You could not sex that as a female peacock. So I'm probably going to take the two Eureka Red females out and continue the experiment with the other two. I will chuck these back into the breeder tank and see what happens. Thanks for watching. How good are these female peacocks looking, eh? So I've still got to take those two Eureka Red females out. I'm going to chuck them back in with the male breeder and see how long it takes them to hold again. These two here, I'm going to keep the experiment going. We're over 20 days in. I'm not sure how long I'm going to do it for. I might even chuck a male peacock in here and see how much this food colour enhances them. Would it be more than a female or would it be the same? Look at those fins. Here we go. Well, 
let's let's just take a look at the fins. As you can see, they're all pointy. If you have a real good look at the face, you can tell that it just doesn't look right. I've just got a crappy shop light in this tank too, so I think they look good under this lighting. Get a decent light and they'll look even better. So yeah, time to take the two Eureka Reds out. I will put a Eureka Red female in the experiment and I'll use the Super R that's made for the Redfish, the White Crane Super R. We'll see what that does to them. So that's a Eureka Red female on Super G. Hopefully I remember and I can compare it with the White Crane Super R. So I am going to keep two of the four fish in the experiment I'm going to keep feeding um, this Super G I think we're probably 26 days in now so I'll end that video, this video here and yeah we'll keep two of the fish in there and I'll put two of the Eureka Reds back into the breeding tank and see how long it takes for them to drop their colours and um, start breeding again so would like to know people's thoughts on this video drop a comment down below tell us if you've used this food super g white crane it's got this psb if you're interested uh, google psb in fish food and read up on that I probably will make a video on that in the next few weeks um, yeah I was quite shocked to be honest if you don't know we're going to be testing hopefully 24 different color enhancing foods so I've got 24 tanks set up I'm just getting um, some fish together all those tanks and then we can get that experiment underway as well so check out the other videos because they'll have all the foods that I am going to be testing so yeah drop a comment down below tell us your thoughts on this food and remember if you want more tanks get more tanks